Welcome to the midweek message. We're taking some verses from Proverbs chapter 25. I'm reading from the contemporary English version of the Bible, and we're going to read verses 14 and 15. The scripture says, Proverbs 25, verse 14, broken promises are worse than rain clouds that don't bring rain. Patience and gentle talk can convince a ruler and overcome any problem. So we're going to look at those two verses, verses 14 and 15 of Proverbs 25. So verse 14, broken promises are worse than rain clouds that don't bring rain. Most of you, or at least many of you, have had the occasion, as have I, to long for rain to come. Your yard is burning to a crisp and things are parched and it's so hot and you just yearn for rain to come. Your garden's dried up and every day you're just hoping and hope and you're taking um, you're, you're, you're taking uh, hope or uh, comfort or, or anticipation in any little cloud that you see arise and, and so um, you're looking for rain. On the other hand, um, some of you have been in the situation where you wish it would stop raining. I once lived in a house that um, had a leak in the basement. However, it did not leak unless the rain reached a certain level. I can remember my wife and I and our, our little kids and when it would rain for hours and hours and hours, I'd be thinking, oh, if it'll only stop raining now, it would be okay. And sometimes it would, and sometimes it'd keep on. But we were, we were hoping, uh, we were uh, anticipating, we were praying for a change in the weather. The Bible says that when a rain cloud comes and you need rain, and it looks like it's going to be there, and no rain comes, what a disappointment it is. But the scripture says that a broken promise is worse than that. Now, one reason is that uh, it's of course a lack of fulfillment on uh, what is thought uh, uh, going to be the uh, outcome. It's a lack of fulfillment, but a broken promise to someone does something to them emotionally. It hurts them far worse than um, extreme heat without rain or a parched land. It's, it's, it's a lot worse than that because it's an emotional pain. And a broken promise, the scripture says, is worse than rain clouds that don't bring rain. That's verse 14. And verse 15 says, patience and gentle talk can convince a ruler and overcome any problem. Now we've all got problems. It is the natural reaction for some of us, and I include myself in this, to respond too quickly and too harshly in an effort to solve a problem, to come up with an answer swiftly and to be forceful and to solve the problem that way. And sometimes that is the way you solve a problem. But the scripture says that patience and gentle talk can convince a ruler and overcome any problem. Sometimes when we are faced with difficult issues, we have to do what does not come naturally to us. And rather than act immediately, we have to step back and have patience. There are some things that as I look back on my life that I wish I had said when I did not say something or some actions I wish I had taken when I was uh, inactive. However, there are far more cases in which I am sorry that I reacted too hastily and wish I could take back words that I had said and wish I'd been more patient. Any problem can be overcome by patience. Even a ruler may be convinced. You're in a, a position of inferiority trying to solve a problem. You're appealing to a ruler. Be patient. Be patient. And coupled with that patience is gentle talk. A 
soft answer the scripture says breaks the bone control your speech and control your temper and you will have more influence you may be able to convince rulers and overcome any problem